Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. Let's go talk to Tyr's grandpa and see what's going on. And hopefully get Guy to level 30 today so we'll get his mystic art, we can check that out, and then maybe go fight Sword Dancer again and try and actually win this time. I feel like if I have my mystic art, I may be able to pull it off. What's happening, McGovern? Thanks for your help in this little disaster. Little? Dude, your entire village fell into this giant mud pit of death? That's a pretty big problem. Oh, we're all actually sitting. That's cool. I'll get to the point. Is there any way to save Singbina? Oh, this is a difficult problem. If only we had the key of Lorelei that Yulia used. The key of Lorelei? What's that? It sounds kind of familiar. It refers to the sword and jewel of Lorelei. If I recall, it was used when creating the planet storm. I've also heard it referred to as the symbol of the pact between Yulia and Lorelei. Correct. The key of Lorelei is said to be a phonic weapon created by Yulia using the power of Lorelei. The sword of Lorelei gathers seven phonons and the jewel of Lorelei disperses them. It's said that the key itself is made of seven phonons. Supposedly, Yulia summoned Lorelei into the key and freely commanded that power. Whether that is true or not, what is true is that it could control the Sephiroth. But once the planet storm was formed, the key of Lorelei was cast down into the core. Yes, we can't use something we don't have, something that may not exist at all. In any case, I suspect it would be impossible to lift St. Bina back up to the Outer Lands. Hmm, is there really nothing anyone can do? It may be possible to at least prevent it from sinking beneath the liquefied surface. With the Sephiroth? Yes. They are controlled by devices called Passage Rings. By using the Passage Ring to restore the Sephiroth, we might be able to keep St. Bina afloat. Where is the Passage Ring that controls the Sephiroth tree for the St. Bina region? At Shuri Hill. It's to the east of St. Bina. That's where I was taken when I was captured on the Tartarus. At the time, I thought it would still be protected by the Albertesque and Yulian seals. The Albertesque seal disappeared once the passage rings for Hod and Exiriuth were destroyed. But the Yulian seal should not unlock until the promised time. But the Commandant must have unlocked it and operated the passage rings, right? Yes. Even we don't know how he did it. Let's worry about that later. How do we operate the passage ring? I've heard that all of the control panels require the use of the seventh phonon. Well, we've got three people who can use that. Tyr, Luke, and myself. The other issue is whether Van has done anything to damage the passage ring. We won't know that until we get there. If it's east of St. Bina, then it's probably falling along with the city. I guess we're going then, to Shuri Hill. The passage ring at Shuri Hill. I hope it actually works. I doubt Van will be leaving it untouched for us to use. Probably gonna run into a god general again. Indeed, his planning so far seems to be impeccable. That sounds sarcastic for some reason. How odd. I mean, I, blah, blah, blah. I meant it quite literally. I wanted to say I mean it. Haha. <laughs> well, thinking about Van won't accomplish anything. We'll just have to visit Shuri Hill and see. Yeah. All right, then, let's go. I take it I have to go all the way back to the exit to get to the, uh... What the heck is the flying thing called? I want to say Albatross, but I know that's wrong because that's like a score you can get in golf. It's something that starts with ALB, I think. I'll remember it eventually, or the game will tell me, one or the other. Alright, the Watcher's home, Yulia City. Yeah, yeah. Where do I go to, like, go where I need to go next? Oh my goodness. This is, like, a little laggy right there at the start. I guess I need to go over to St. Bina, because Shuri Hill must have fallen with it. So I'm not going back to the Outer Lands yet. Alright. As long as I know what I'm doing, that's all that matters. I like this music, though. This is pretty good. Yeah, the cliff off looks like garbage. Like, this place just looks awful. Who would want to live here? 
Literally no one that I can think of. Ah, hello. So, where can I land? Probably at St. Bina, which should be around here somewhere behind me. Look at the red dot, Chaos. That's what you need to do. There it is. Can I land here? No? No landing at St. Bina? Where does the game want me to land at? Game? Game, I would appreciate just a tad bit of direction on your part. Where can I land here? Uh, uh, what's that? Can I land right here? Is this like a landing point? No? It doesn't look like it is. It's just an investigate point, I guess. Where can I land this thing? It, like, didn't let me land it over St. Bina. So there's gotta be somewhere else that it can touch down. Surely. Is there somewhere else I'm supposed to go other than here? Yeah, I can't land at St. Bina. Where am I so- what? Where am I supposed to land at? Like, the only thing that sticks out on this continent other than St. Bina is this search point thing, but that- that doesn't work. So, like, that's- that's not helping. Also, it's, like, really annoying to try and see anything with all of this mist. Anything, game? No? You're not- you're not gonna, like, help me out at all? You're just gonna drop me here and be like, yeah, you know, figure it out. Where do they want me to touch down at? Oh, what? I pressed B and it just dropped me. Okay, I was not aware that you could just fall wherever you wanted. Well, now I know. Alright, cool. So I'll just leave this next to St. Bina then. Can I go into St. Bina? Uh, the town is half collapsed. There is no way in. Alright. Are there any monsters in the cliff-off? There are indeed monsters in the cliff-off. Duly noted. Alright, so I gotta find this hill. I didn't know that you could just land wherever you pleased. I thought you had to get to a certain drop-off point, like with the Tartarus. But apparently not. How strong are these enemies? Are they, like, worth it? It's one chirpy? Or is these, like... Okay. They're, like, the enemies... They dropped down from... They dropped down with St. Bina. So they're, like, all of the level 4 enemies we were fighting before. Alright, now where would this hill be at? I guess I should investigate this thing over here first. Why is it blue? Uh, coral. Okay. Oh, because it's next to water, so I'm getting a lot of water stuff. Alright, cool. Well, that was a nice little stop point. Alright, where is Shuri Hill? Probably up here somewhere, maybe? Just drop down right here. Oh my goodness, this, this game lags pretty hard when you're in a bunch of trees and stuff. It can't take too many things happening in the overworld at once, I guess. Is this it over here? Nope. Just trying to find anything that could look like an entrance point to a hill of some kind. Yeah. I honestly don't know where I'm supposed to go to get to the hill. Maybe back there? They mentioned it was in a certain direction from, uh, St. Bina, didn't they? I just don't remember it. What was it called? Or not what was it called, but where was it in relation to St. Bina? I mean, St. Bina is all the way on the west of, uh, this little, like, mini-continent thing we got going on. So I guess it would have to be to the east of it. But how east is the question. How east indeed. I'll find it eventually. Hopefully. Maybe it's over the mountains. That is a possibility that I had not yet considered until this moment. Oh, nope, it's right here. I walked right past it. Good job, me. Oh, I can see the door up there. Shuri Hill. Is that the door? I can't tell. Maybe that's just like some kind of a rock. Only one way to find out. So, Ion, where's the entrance? It's normally hidden by a phonic art. 
If I recall correctly, the phonic art was created using three red phone stones and the fifth phonon. Three red phone stones? Hmm, the fifth phonon is the fire phonon, right? So we have to find the three red stones and hit them with Muse Fire. Got it. Pretty simple. Is this one of them? Is that one of the phone stones right there? Oh, here we go. That's one. Two more to go. What is this? What's this tree doing here? I can Mew Smash this, can't I? Apparently cannot. Duly noted. I think I saw a blue phone stone up there. I imagine I need to not hit the blue phone stones. Unless I eventually get Mew Water. I gotta get up over here to hit this thing. There's a chest there, too. I gotta make sure I grab. Come on. Come on, Mew. This is hard to aim. There we go. That's two down, one to go. Pineapple gel, very nice. Alright, one more red phone stone. It's probably off to the right, since I've gotten two by going to the left. So over here, so right there it is. Oh, grab this chest first. Thank you for the lemon gel. I got it, nice. Oh, there we go. Well, that was pretty easy. All right, then. Let's see what's happening in here. This is it. The door is open. Let's go inside. What could be waiting for us? Would any of the God Generals be able to get down into the Cliffoth? I actually don't know. Relics of the Dawn Age. Exeriuth, Shuri Hill. These places with the passage rings feel so strange. That's probably because they're from the Dawn Age. They were made to protect the Sephiroth trees. Oh, right. So this has been around for 2,000 years. Indeed, the technology in use seems to be quite advanced. We can't build anything like this with our current knowledge. So civilization was more advanced 2,000 years ago? So they say. Even in Yulia City, we don't understand how most of the facilities work. That's interesting, actually. I wonder what the world was like when Yulia was around. I wish I could have seen it. You mean you wish you could have seen the machines, right? Well, yeah, but come on. That's why they... That's when... They, oh my goodness. That's when they came up with how to raise the Outer Lands. Those must have been turbulent times. I couldn't read Guy's sentence to save my life. Now is hardly any different. After all, we're on the brink of diverging from Yulia's score. Yes, true enough. Human history is one of eternal turbulence. Now let's take care of what we came to do. I, I don't know why, I just couldn't read that sentence from Guy. As dry as always. It, it just confuzzled me in so many ways I couldn't understand. Ah, oh, great, there are monsters in here. Probably monsters way stronger than the ones outside. Let's actually find out. Tell me how strong you are. Please get Guy to level 30. Spear? Was that Spear Rober? Spear Roper. Okay, that makes more sense. Ow. There we go. I need one of these things to be dead. There are too many enemies here. Too many enemies for my liking. There we go. One's dead. All right. That makes things a lot easier. Although another one dead would make it even better. Die, I say. Ow. That was a nice little combo you did there. I'm going to have to kill you for that. Easy. All right. And then there was this one. Get out of here. Die so I can kill your friend. That actually did a lot of damage. There, that one's dead. Let me heal myself up a little bit. I think that she's healing me right now, so I'm going to stop trying to heal myself. No, she used Nightmare. Never mind. It's fine. I got enough HP now. Can't touch this. Okay, you're not going to even try. That's nice. Just die, then. Jade learned special, so he's got his uh, Mystic Card. I really want to see that. Jade, back in form. Hmm. Jade, what is it? Oh, it's just that I seem to be getting back into form. I've gotten a fair amount taken care of. Though I'm still limited to about half of my former ability. You mean the phone slot seal? I'd hate to see those things in mass production. I wouldn't worry about that. They're far too expensive for use in combat. Each one costs close to 10% of Malkus' yearly budget. The Oracle Knights must consider the Necromancer a significant threat. And you can say that with a straight face? I'm impressed. Why, thank you. Okay, so Jade is apparently back to half of his normal... What is that little scribble over Jade's face? 
Does he have some kind of a status ailment right now? What the heck is that? But anyways, Jade is apparently, he says he's back to like half of his full strength, but he was level 45 when we first met him, and now he's only level 30, so he should be at like two-thirds of his full strength, I thought. Half of his strength would mean he was level 60 when we met him. That doesn't add up. That's not how math works, Jade. I didn't actually pay attention to how much EXP these guys gave, so I'm gonna kill these as well and find out. I was just about to overlimit, and I am upset that you took it from me, Luke. I almost called you Jade, which would have been horribly wrong, but still. You wanna hit him up with like a, a Radiant Howl or something? I would hit him up with a Radiant Howl if I were you. I mean, may as well, right? I guess not. Okay, fine then. Well, I'm not gonna use my overlimit now. I've already killed two out of four. May as well just finish the job. Thanks for the health. Much appreciated. I immediately squandered it by being bad at the game, but, you know, I still appreciate it. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Almost 500 experience. I am a fan of that. Very good amounts of HP. I can't... Or HP of EXP. I can't interact with those uh, monitors or whatever they are, so let's just keep going. 